Just thought I'd take a drive out here on the bike to uh, one of our back fields. This field was cleared, I think in fall two years ago, two years ago this fall. Um, we had it cleared, ran into a bunch of rock and stuff. I think we were aiming for 10 acres, but I think we fell short. I'm not exactly sure how big it is. I haven't measured it. I'm gonna take the GPS out here sometime and have a look-see. But uh, yeah, they seeded it. I think it was in the spring. Actually, I don't know. I can't say for sure. But they seeded it anyway, and it didn't grow at all. Um, yeah, it didn't grow at all. So uh, then this spring, we disked it up again and seeded it. And it's hard to tell, but. I don't even know if it'll come through in the video or not, but there's a bit of a green hue, I guess you could say, to the field. Um, so yeah, the grass is starting to come up on it. I'll see if I can find a decent spot here and put the camera closer to the ground. Because it's hard to see walking right down at your feet, the grass, but if you look off out into the distance, That's good. We were pretty worried about it. A lot of money and time and stuff spent trying to get some more land going for hay and stuff. And nothing was coming on us. So I don't know what happened the first year. If it was just too late seeding it and it never took or what. Doesn't matter now. Hopefully by the end of the summer we'll get a cut off it. Never know. It's come up a lot even in the last few days I was out here. Oh, well, three or four days ago I guess. And, eh, yeah, three or four days ago I guess. And there wasn't really much of anything. was going to come, but it's coming now. So yeah, this is what we deal with over here, you can see on the outside of the field all the rock. It's pretty normal. Um, if you go on YouTube there and look up uh, Look up videos of picking rocks and stuff, those rock picking machines and rock rakes and that a lot of the ground you'll see in those videos is nicer than nicer than air ground when we finish it. This here is like this here, look at this. It's just rock everywhere. But there's not much you can do about it. Just keep picking at it every year. Rake it, pick it. Eventually it'll Thin out. It's a lot of small rock and shale and stuff on this. But, uh, yeah, this field doesn't look too bad. There's heading back looking towards the farm. See the bike way over there. Maybe. Another field over there needs to be cut. Another field seated over there too. Taking a walk. There's over there you can't really see it, but that's my bike trip. Used to be longer. The path used to start where the bike's parked, but now 
obviously it's quite a bit shorter. So you can see up in here, kind of ran into some swamp and rock and stuff. And that's where they kind of gave up. But up there you can see, just look at the trees, right? It's a bit nicer ground. This was uh, clear cut in here years ago. path here is when I'm walking out and I can't find the damn thing. Everything's so different. Oh, here it is here. Take a take a stroll out. It's a hunting blind out here and there's some burnt stuff. Yeah, this path used to be quite a bit longer too. It's, it's crazy. We've got a lot more, a lot more uh, ground cleared too, but it hasn't been uh, bulldozed or nothing. It's just we cut, uh, we had the uh, wood cut off it and stuff, and uh, we still got to get it dozed. Yeah, get it dozed off, hopefully get a couple more fields going, try to get some more land. Actually, I'm kind of curious now, I think about it, how big that field is. So I might take the GPS out and see. It's just a matter of taking the Garmin and uh, walking around this. You can calculate area that way. We have an opening here. See the bike tracks we got. Anybody that's not me? No. Just my own tracks, no trespassers. So right now we're about oh, over a kilometer I'd say from the actual farm. Probably pushing in a straight line 12-1400 meters. Here you can see the blind. I don't remember the guy's name who has it without permission of course. That's how people roll around here. There's a brook that I can't get across with my work boots on. So putting too much effort in, I guess I get across there, but I won't bother. That's pretty well the end of it anyway. So yeah. I'll walk back out to the field and we'll have a look at that other field.
this. Uh, this field is the old seven acre field. mostly but uh, it's not actually seven acres it's just well I guess it used to be it's the old seven acre field it's probably about five and a half acres um, we just seeded this not even that long ago just a few days ago probably but uh, see behind me pretty well have names whether whether they make sense or not most of them don't make any sense to me but uh, this is the old seven acre field uh, the field we just looked at over zoom in oh focus not even a little bit, eh? Okay, well, whatever. That field over there is the dirt field. I just named it right now. It's the dirt field. Uh, the field you see just on this side of that wood pile is the back field, which isn't exactly true, because it isn't the farthest field back anymore, and it actually wasn't before either. But it is the backfield. This field here closest to us is the, the new seven acre field. As opposed to the old seven acre field. I'm pretty sure this one I actually measured it and ended up being like eight and a half acres. So I don't know where they got a seven acre field from, but this one here is not seven acres because it's less and this one here is not so big it's more so walk down here towards the bike it's a beauty day out it's a bit windy though let's have a look here at some of the fields we had cut uh, this morning and early this afternoon if we get a guy to mow for us uh, this field here behind me now is I guess you call it the borehole field. It's called the borehole field because let's see if we can find it. It's behind it. That's where this rock is. Yeah it is. It's a borehole right there. So it's the borehole field. Is there a borehole in the middle of the field? Well, not the middle of the field. Middle of the farm, middle of nowhere. I guess, from what I was told years and years ago, they, uh, they were gonna supply Morian with water and they're looking for sources. And that was one of the spots they picked, so they dug a borehole, and they bored the borehole, I guess is what you do. They bored a borehole there. Uh, I think they found water in a few spots, but it wasn't enough. They dug down or bored down 400 feet or something like that. And ended up hitting salt water. So that was the end of that. But uh, yeah, it's a borehole field. I don't know when, what year they did that or anything. Looks like. <laughs> A little bit swampy over here. A little swamp there. Get off a little too far on one side there. Run into some trouble. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? I don't know if this field has a name or not. It probably does, but I don't know what it is. There's a few fields with other ridiculous names. Uh, let's keep walking up here, I guess, see what we see. 
all this stuff here. Let's have a look at it. Just cut today. Don't think they're gonna put it in today. It's probably too wet still. It's not really, yeah, it's pretty good drying. I'll probably leave it till tomorrow rather than this evening. Two fields going in. Yeah, I'm getting my exercise today. I don't know if that field really has a name or not, but there's a there's a hunting blind. Let's uh, put there. they put it there for hunting or what might as well do my due diligence there uh, yeah that was my uncle that put it there my grandfather or what but it's a porch shop a house it's in the corner of the field for hunting I actually haven't looked at it in years if you're interested in go have a look at it but it's, uh, Anyway, for all intents and purposes, we can call it the field with the porch, the porch field. Carry this rock up to the edge of the field here. Oh, we can put it in the rock pile. Up here is a rock pile. Not only is it our rock pile, but it's the rock pile. I don't know what makes this one so important, but uh, it's the rock pile. Whew. Let's see. There's the firm down there. Zoom in a bit, silos, top of the burn, you can kind of see a bit. See a few cows, top of the middle buildings. Uh, spruce tree there. I don't know if you're making it out or not, but our weather station is there. Oh yeah, you can see it. South head, more trees. This field is seeded too. I'm not sure when they seeded it, but still lots of rocks left on it. That'll be fine. Zoom out. Yeah, there's another field. Oh, excuse me. Another field over the side of those trees. Uh, James Field, it's called. Don't ask me why. Uh, yeah, it's not a tour for now. There's another field way down that way, too. Maybe the V. There's a field called the V. I don't know if it's that one or not. Another V shaped field too. Which could easily be the V also, which is down this way further. But, uh, yeah, I'll just head back to the quad. That's the water down off Schooner Pond. I thought of it, I would have been able to show you. You can see the fire hall in Duncan from up here. I walk down this way, actually. Let's walk down this way a bit. You should be able to see the Duncan mine. Let's move up on the hill higher. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. That's the Duncan mine site down there. Can't see too much of it, but that's it. Let's 
Well, there's chopping silage in this field here too. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if he's chopping in this one yet or not. He's chopping down the way there. Doesn't look like he's chopping in here yet. There he is. Zoom in on him, see if he's picking his nose or something. Waiting for a wagon or what? But anyway, carrying on. So yeah, they need to get a camera with a screen on the front of it so I can see what I'm looking at when I look at the camera facing the wrong way. But in time, I guess. Got two of these cameras and a GoPro, I guess. My selfie stick would even be to help. Lots of rocks in the bushes and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Dragging out this video pretty good. Probably end up never using it or editing the shit out of it. junk in there. Pulled a bunch of tops out of there years ago. That's, uh, that's nice junk There's a few maple trees in there though. One or two I think. I usually collect the sap out of those in the springtime. Make some maple syrup. Homemade here on the farm. I think we're getting some bees too but it's pretty expensive to get into even just like one hive. I think maybe we'll look at doing that next spring. Pollination and all that nonsense. Just to go back here, just passing the borehole again. Heading back to the quad. So, uh, yeah, if you like my videos, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.